Hey, hey, SAS pros, if you're on high level and you're utilizing social planner in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a CSV bulk upload into your high level social planner, but with a really cool tip for bulk uploading and bulk creating those social media posts to systematically use over and over and over and over again. We'll see you inside. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to bulk upload social media posts so that way you can do it whether you're doing it for your customers as an SMMA marketer for social media or if you're just doing it for yourself. We're gonna be using high level. Yep, that's high level. So inside of high level, when you go into marketing and you go into social planner, this is where you will see all of your awesome social media posts. So let's jump right in. I'm gonna click on this new post right here. When I click on a new post, I'm gonna click on upload CSV. And what's gonna happen in here is you don't wanna just upload some random CSV file. You wanna make sure that you use the sample CSV. So be sure to click this, save a master, and you will be good to go. Now, before we jump into our upload, there's a few things that you want to do will make your upload even more successful. So let's go ahead and minimize this. And I'm gonna show you what the actual CSV looks like. And here is what the CSV download looks like. The first column is the time. So you wanna be sure to format this in the exact time. The second column is the actual content that you're putting in, meaning your comments, your hashtags, your emojis. Then you're gonna see a link URL. If you are sharing a website URL or a link inside of the post, this is where you would wanna put it. For example, if you want somebody to go and fill out a form or click on a page to go look at something, this is where you would put the link and this will show up in your post. Then you're gonna see image URL. This is the path of where the image is that you want to post. You'll also see a GIF URL and a video URL. So remember, if you're using regular images, you want the image URL. If it's a GIF that you're sharing, you wanna put that URL in here. And if it's a video, you wanna put video. I'm gonna go ahead and delete these because we're not doing a video and we're not doing a GIF. We are only gonna be uploading an image. Wanna make sure that there is nothing in these columns and it's only going to show my URL. Now in this particular case, before you jump in to start adding your content to your master CSV, I recommend making sure that you have all of your comments ready, all of your links if you're gonna use those, and then of course your URLs. I'm gonna show you how we do it. I'm gonna minimize this real quick and I'm gonna show you inside of a Google Doc how we originally create all of our images. This has been the fastest way to bring in social posts. So you can see we've got more images loaded. And in this particular customer's case, we upload 30 posts each month in a variety of categories. This particular category says baking. This one has engaging questions. This one has awesome fun facts. The way we create our Google spreadsheet is we want to label the image. So we want to know which image we're using, which I'll show you here in just a second. We put out our text, our hashtags, and our emojis. You see how it's all written. Then we have our image URL, and then we track if we've posted it or scheduled it. Now, in order to do this, we plan this out for each customer. So if this was your business, you would want to create an awesome master sheet of everything based on if it's an engaging, inviting, promotional, and you just create different worksheets for those specific categories when you're social posting. We get into that more when we talk about social posting. But for this particular case, we've already planned out this month and next month's baking tips to post. Now what we want to do is put it into the system. So we want to bulk upload the CSV. So you can see I've got these already created and ready to go. So let me go ahead and minimize this. And I will bring in that Excel spreadsheet. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy this. Now before I do, I wanna show you one really cool tip inside the planner. So you can see the images, you can see the text. Here's what we did. I'm gonna show you right down here, go into settings, 
go into your media library. And when you open up the media library, we have everything organized for each customer. In this particular case, we call it 365 Social. When you click on the baking, you'll see all of the images that we uploaded and how they're labeled by number. So when we go into Canva, what happens is we'll create all the graphs in Canva. And the first image starts at one and it goes to how many images we have. What we do is we click share, we export it in bulk, and then what we do is we import all the images that we've done. So you can see we've got tons of images we've already created, ready to go for her social posts. Then what we did was we came in here and we just did a bulk upload. So if you look, if I select image number 11, you'll see number 11 talks about parchment paper. All I do is right click to get the link. When I get the link, I come over to my master and under image 11, I have now added that link. Just to recap, I export whatever it is that we're doing. It could be 10, 20, 30, 50 posts, but really in importing, you want to make sure that you don't import more than 30 or 40 because then you get errors inside of high level. What we do is we use this master and then we bring in each month. So we're exporting, then we're importing, and now we have all of our baking into the library. And let's go ahead and get this spreadsheet ready. That is the templated spreadsheet that we have. And what we're gonna do is I'm going to copy and paste. Let's go ahead and copy all of these 12. I'm just gonna hit Control Copy. I'm gonna open up my awesome spreadsheet right here and just hit Control or Command V. You'll see right here. Now, we don't have any links in these particular posts because what we're doing is we're posting just images and tips, baking tips. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over to my images. I'm going to highlight and copy the images that go along with these posts. And I'm going to hit control copy. I'm going to go back to my awesome master spreadsheet and I'm going to come to the image URL. And I'm going to hit Control V or Command V if you're on Mac. And you'll see now I've got my content and my images ready to go. Now on the left side, it always says post at a specific time. So if you want to come in and post at these times, you have to use this parameter. Again, you can do date, time, all that good stuff, but you've got to use the specific format. And I just found with social posting that it's just so much easier to have it with just the comments, the links, the URLs, and call it a day. All right, so now that we've got our CSV file ready to go, we're gonna go back into the new post and we're gonna say upload from a CSV. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna select that upload file. Now that it's all saved and ready to go, we're gonna say next. And what's great about this is I will sometimes create CSVs for Google Business, for Twitter because you only have so many characters. In this particular example, I'm just showing you how easy it is to do just a regular Facebook post or something simple. So you can select any pages you would like in here. Facebook and Instagram uses the 1080 by 1080. Twitter, you can also do 1080 by 1080, but if you wrote a lot of comments, remember you're limited to comments and Google business has a different look. Same with if you're doing stories and reels and things like that. This right here is if you are importing these and maybe your customer wants to approve them first or you have somebody within the company that's doing the approving you can watch the send for approval post for that. This is if you are posting and getting it in. So let's go ahead and do this. I selected just one profile. I have my bulk upload of 12. Let's go ahead and bring it in. And you're going to see right here, it is brought in and it is in progress. Sometimes when you refresh your screen, it'll show that they've been brought in. So what you're looking at is we're looking at the folder on the main page of the CSV, that when you click on CSV, great, they're reviewed in here, ready to review and schedule. So let's go ahead and click review and schedule. Over here, you'll see all the comments that we put. You'll also see the image here, and you'll see the post is in draft mode. 
So everything is in draft mode because we did not put a date on it. You can open it up. You can make an edit. You can schedule it individually. All I'm doing is I click on my review and schedule. And here it is. I want to open this post. And let's go ahead and take this. And then I can say, okay, I want to go ahead and schedule it. This is where you would schedule it on your calendar and then schedule the post. I like to do it differently. Rather than going into each of these individually like this, the way I like to do it is I'm a calendar view person. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back and I'm gonna show you how I like to review and schedule. So I'm gonna go ahead and click import post. Like I said, you can go through each one and schedule it by date or you can do this. I click import post import and watch what happens. When I go to my planner, they're going to all show for the day. But remember, they're still in draft mode. So what I love about this is I'm a drag and drop kind of girl because I want to visually see what's going on. So all I'm doing is I'm taking all these posts and I'm dragging and dropping them where I would like to schedule them. So if you're looking at a full calendar view, you can see how you can easily fill up your calendar and have your post ready to go, right? Pretty cool, drag and drop. Like I said, I'm a drag and drop person, but you can go in and schedule these however you'd like individually, either way. So now I've imported this. Let's say, for example, I had another thing I wanted to import of 10, maybe some fun facts. This allows me to really view the calendar and bring in another import of fun facts and separate them and make the feed look good. Maybe you're doing quotes for Mondays. Maybe you're doing fun facts for Fridays or Tuesday tips. So you can easily drag and drop these where you'd like. Once you have your month in advance ready, all you got to do is come over here to the three little dots. And when you click on edit, now I like to go in and I like to schedule my posts for certain times. Remember, when you bulk upload, it's going to bring it in at that time you upload. Maybe Tuesday you want to do this one at two o'clock versus the 12 o'clock. So all you got to do is say two o'clock, schedule the post, and now your post is scheduled. If you look really close, you'll see 1220, 1220, 1220. You see the time? This one says 220. If you like these posts, keep it that way. If you want to go back in and edit the times, maybe this one should be at one o'clock on a Saturday, you can easily go in and edit those times. And that's how easy it is. You don't like a post? Let's go ahead and hit edit. We can hit edit right here. If we're like, okay, you know what? I really don't want to do this post. This wasn't one I wanted. Maybe I want to change the picture. You have that time to go in and do it. Or if you're like, you know what? I don't want to post this day. Let's go ahead and delete it. Just remember, once you delete this post, this action cannot be undone, which means it is deleted forever. If you delete a post, it is gone for good. And that's how easy it is to import. So just to recap, the first place I go is I create my images. When I create my images, I do a bulk export and I bring it into the settings. I bring it into the media library and I create a folder with the media library. So when I go into the media library, I'll go into the social file. And when I go into my social file, I'll look for that category. And because I've labeled my images by number, all I got to do is right click to get the link and then I can add my master of everything I'm doing. Now, as a SaaSpreneur, if you're doing social media posting for baking companies as a whole in your niche, this is a great way to really have a master of all your niche posts. And then go in and add their names or their logos or custom images or custom branding. Once you're done creating your master and uploading your images, then going into your awesome Excel file, it's easy to copy and paste the content and the URLs. And then once you save that as a CSV, your file is ready to import. And all you do is go back to your planner. And when you go back to your planner, all you're going to do is go into your marketing 
social planner, go to new post, upload the new post. And when you upload the new post, it's going to bring it in. You'll see that it's been uploaded. Once it's uploaded, then you can easily go into that awesome, awesome calendar. And again, you'll be able to see when it's CSV uploaded and when it's scheduled and completed. Once you have opened up the planner and dragged and dropped and got everything ready to go, guess what? You are ready to post and you are posting at your times and you're rocking it. And that is how you do a bulk import. And the best way right now, because unfortunately inside of high level, the only way to access those images would be to do a bulk import and post those individuals' images basically individually. So you can go into your image library and you can do them one by one, or you can use the CSV and do bulk images like we do for our customers and bring them in all at once ready to post. I hope that you have gotten some great ideas on how to create posts quickly using Canva, how to add your CSV, how to upload your CSV, and how fast it was to easily drag and drop and schedule those posts. It's so easy to delete the posts. Just remember you delete them forever. But what I love about saving those images into your media library is that you can easily click on a date select somebody else and go and pick that image from that file to basically what? Recycle, repurpose, use another one again year over year over year. So I hope you enjoy this and we'll see you on the next Social Planner video.